A while ago I made these little badges using a CH32V003, which made them cheap enough that I could just hand them out to people. But there was no way for them to change what's shown on the display. You'd need a special programming cable. There's not even a connector on there. Now, if I was just trying to design a badge that can be easily reprogrammed, there's a bunch of ways we could do it, you know, Bluetooth or whatever, but uh, for fun, and to keep the costs as low as possible, I thought it'd be cool to try and use the LEDs of the Matrix as a light sensor to do a wireless update using visible light. It turns out that you can control the flash of a smartphone from JavaScript by asking for camera permissions. And you can toggle it reasonably quickly, although there is a lot of jitter. The real problem with this method is that using all of the LEDs as an absolute light sensor is just really unreliable. My eureka moment was using the two halves of the display as a differential optical amplifier. We've got the various modes as before. But if I hold the button, it puts it into programming mode. The op-amp on the 003 is doing a kind of transimpedance thing, but it's in an open-loop configuration, so it behaves as a comparator between the two halves of the display. Um, the brilliant thing about this is that it's completely immune to ambient light. Even in sunlight, the display is illuminated evenly, so it's a common-mode signal that gets rejected. And there you have it. When I set out to do this, I was expecting to make a new version of the badge with a different circuit. Originally I had to add a bunch of components just to make the amplifier work. But then I just kept optimising and whittling it down, and eventually ended up back with the original circuit. This badge is the same one I showed off six months ago. It's unmodified. There are no hardware changes at all. So in a sense, the ability to do wireless updates was there all along. We just had to unlock it by thinking really hard about the problem. I've written a long explanation on my website if you want to follow along with the journey to this point. They don't have a button, but the circuit is identical, so there's no reason we couldn't use the same trick to update these matrix earrings. However, the next version of the earrings is going to use a different processor. The main selling point of the 003 is that it's incredibly cheap, and for these bespoke matrix earrings, I think we can afford something better. Those of you who've seen me in real life recently will know that I've done a number of cool projects in the last few months. I will try and make videos about those as soon as I can.